This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. This government shutdown is so bad that the youngest congresswoman in American history just had to get a second job. <laughs> Apparently, New York's freshman representative, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, moonlights as a bus driver on Twitter, where she takes Republican morons to school. And guess who just got on the AOC bus to be dropped off at tax policy preschool? Wisconsin state embarrassment, the ineffectual smarmy ex-governor. Scott Walker, who decided that it was analogy time because not enough people out there were scared of raising marginal tax rates. Now, in a little bit, I'll do a super quick breakdown of what marginal tax rates actually are and why raising them is a fantastic idea. But first, let's allow Scott Walker to tell the class his stupid wrong answer. Here's the folksy little ditty he left on Twitter, quote, Explaining tax rates before Reagan to fifth graders. Imagine if you did chores for your grandma and she gave you $10. When you got home, your parents took seven from you. The student said, that's not fair. And then he ends it with, uh, even fifth graders get it. Wow, Scott Walker. You mean to tell me you did all those chores and grandma gave you all that cheddar? And then you get home and those no good sums of bitches, they took seven of your 10 American dollars that you earned. That is a sad, sad story, bro. Is this what you're always talking about when those commies in New York and Vermont say it's time that we raise taxes to 70%? Listen, Scott Walker is counting on the fact that when someone hears taxes and 70% in the same sentence, they will start getting antsy. He's a Republican after all, and their governance style is fueled by fear and supercharged by assholery. Because in this little scenario, it's nonsense, through and through BS. And that's when Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez swooped in and made child's work out of the absolute lying fool that is little Scotty. She tweeted, quote, explaining marginal tax rates to a far right former governor. Imagine if you did chores for your abuela and she gave you $10. When you got home, you got to keep it because it's only $10. Then we tax the billionaire in town because he's making tons of money underpaying the townspeople. Listen, that is perfect. AOC nailed it. You see, marginal tax rates cannot be explained in Scott Walker's simple little analogies because by definition, they don't apply to small amounts like $10. They don't apply to $10,000 and often not even to a million dollars. The majority of American taxpayers would never be impacted by a hike in a marginal tax rate. When progressives talk about raising the highest marginal tax rate to 70%, they're usually talking about applying a higher rate to every additional dollar that's earned over 10 million per year. So if Scott Walker is making his rounds to fifth graders to explain basics of tax policy, maybe he should say that grandma forgot her glasses, accidentally wrote you a check for 10 million and $1. And then when you got home, your parents explained that under the new progressive tax policies, you'd only get to keep 30 cents of that additional dollar, but you would still have millions and millions of dollars to do with as you please. That would be a more honest example, Scott. So please stop lying to the kids. But back to the marginal tax rates. In the post-war boom of the American economy in the 50s, they went as high, the marginal tax rates that is, went as high as 92%. I'm not even kidding. The decade to which every single right winger writes love letters. The one they drool over when they shove down a MAGA hat on their head. The 50s, under a Republican president, Eisenhower, saw the highest marginal tax rate of 92% on the highest brackets of income. And the economy in our country flourished. Our middle class grew and multiplied. And yes, there was plenty of economic wisdom in making sure that a tax rate was progressive. When American opportunity returned astronomically high yields to its richest citizens, 
they paid into the treasury a little more off that very, very high portion of their income. So please, every time you hear a Scott Walker clone trying to terrify you with tax rates that seem blatantly unfair on their face, ask a follow-up question. Ask, you know, is this the blanket tax rate on my entire income or are the rates only a small portion of what I make once I'm a multi-million dollar kind of income earner? Don't let them get away with lying to us about how tax rates work. Be like Ocasio Cortez and ridicule them every single time. And yes, raise those marginal tax rates already. I want my American middle class back.